Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some Nmap commands that you should know as a pen tester, cybersecurity folks, or just anyone in general, right? If you're looking to get into this field. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing that you guys should notice is metasploitable.local. So if I ping this, this is going to go to an IP address 192.168.100.201. This is on the same network that I'm on. So if I do an IPA show, <clears throat> man, my throat is killing me. So right here is 192.168.100.212. That is my IP address of my machine. So as we can just browse out to this, if we browse out to Metasploitable dot local whoop that's not going to work dot local and we can see metasploitable too right so you can do like php my admin and all that fun stuff right so i'm going to go ahead and minimize this this is not about metasploitable today that's just going to be our target that we're going to be utilizing in our nmap scans okay so i already scanned everything because obviously it's time consuming, but I want to explain every single command that you should know and, you know, get something out of this video, right? So the first one is just Nmap in general, right? So what is this like Nmap metasploitable.local doing? It's going to do a TCP SYN scan, right? And it's going to have no flags required or needed. And what it's going to do is give you the results of that port, state, and service. And for metasploitable2, you have all these ports here. So if you're running against Metasploitable 2, you're gonna get the same results. But if you scan it against you know, another website, obviously do it against a website that you have permission to do so, and so on and so forth, like try hack me, hack the box, hack this site, whatever, anything that's, you know, you have permission or it's a learning platform. The second one here, the second tab here is going to do dash P dash. This is going to scan all 65,535 ports, right? So it's gonna say anything that resides within those ports, it's going to give you the results here. So it gives you pretty much almost the same. And that's about it for 65,000. So for example, let's go back to this one. Let's see if we have, yeah, we do have a lot of these ports the same. Okay, cool deal. All right, so that is the second command that I wanted to show you guys, right? Nmap dash p dash, which is going to go ahead and scan all 65,000 ports. The next one here is going to be dash p and then a specific port. So in this case, I scanned for FTP, 22 SSH, port 80, HTTP, and 5900, which is VNC. And it's going to go ahead and scan these ports against our metasploitable.local, which is our metasploitable server. And it's going to give us the state, the port, and the service, right? <clears throat> Man, I hope I'm not getting sick. But anyhow, we'll continue this. We'll go to the next tab here. We have here is nmap s big or lowercase s, capital S, metasploitable.local. And what this is going to do is do a TCP SYN scan, right? So this is a little more stealthy, a little stealthy scan. And you can see here, it pretty much gives us similar results, the same results pretty much, but it's just a different scan type. The next one, this took a while, I'm not gonna lie. And this is gonna go ahead and scan for only UDP ports. As you can see, it's only gonna give us UDP results. And literally, I think this took uh, let's see, does it give us the time? Uh, uh, 59 or oh, 954 uh, seconds. So what is that? I don't even know. I'm not doing the math. It took, a, it, it took a few minutes, to be honest. So, all right, so that's going to just do a UDP scan. It's slow, but it is useful if you're looking to look for just UDP ports. The next one we have here is dash A. This is an aggressive scan. So this is gonna give us the whole shebang, right? It does OS detection, does services, trace route. It runs the NSC scripts, which is the Nmap scripting engine. We'll get into that in a second, All right? So we have here port 21, similar, 
to our other scans, but now we have a you know anonymous FTP allowed. So this is saying, okay, I can FTP into this anonymously using the anonymous login, which is not good, but this is a learning platform or learning OS that you go ahead and scan and do your stuff. Port 22, open SSH, uh, Telnet, Linux Telnet, D, uh, SN, uh, SMTP, which is Postfix, and then go on, so on and so forth. 53 DNS, HTTP, Apache, HTTPD 2.8, and it's running on Ubuntu, and so on and so forth. So you get a lot more results because it's an aggressive scan. This sometimes can take a little bit as well, okay? And you know you can see everything here. There's trace route at the bottom, and it gives us the IP address of metasploitable.local. All right, so let's go on to the next one here. We have dash capital O, which is OS detection. So you want to see what operating system is running on that machine. So if we come all the way down, it's going to say it's running Linux, in this case, 2.6.x. And the OS is Linux, Linux underscore kernel, 2.6. And same thing, 2.6.9 is going to be the Linux distro or the Linux det OS details. All right, so that's, you know, if, if you run a scan, it's like, oh, it's not giving you the operating system. If it's Windows or Linux, you can try to give it a dash O to specify the actual um, OS fingerprinting, okay? Next one here is going to be dash SV, which is, is gonna do a service detection scan. This is gonna not only give the port and the state and the service, it's gonna go ahead and do a version scan. So now, what does this tell me? For like the pen testing world, if we do this and we got port 21 FTP, and now we have the version, so version VSFTPD 2.3.4, and we can look for like different vulnerabilities for this, different exploits, and we can utilize that to our advantage and so on and so forth, right? So you can come down here and you can see all the services that are running on each specific port and the different versions, all right? So that's that one. Let's go ahead and go to the next one here. It is going to do a script scan. So if I wanna go ahead and use the NSC defaulting scripting, you can do nmap dash dash script equals, in my case, I just did a default one against my metasploitable.local. And this is going to do different scans here, okay? And you can see everything is going to give us that result. And the last one we can do, if you're looking to see what scripts are, are located, you can do ls, let me come back up. Maybe I did that too quick. Let me actually just do up arrow. <clears throat> it's located in user share and map scans. And this is in Kali Linux. So you can see the different results here and whatever you're trying to scan, you can go ahead and utilize to whatever you know, SM, uh, SMB enumeration, um, like mine was default, right? So if I do, for an example, if I do, let's see if I grep default, and right here, oh, that's that, let's see, I guess, I guess this, I guess default is just going to give us the default. All right, <clears throat> so the next one I wanted to showcase is right here. So the next one is a, King Kong one. I, I usually save this in my, in my uh, I have my, my notes on one screen. And this is gonna do like a full aggressive scan combination of everything. So it does everything in one and I put it, output it to a file called fullscan.txt. And this is gonna give a lot more information, more details. And when I'm doing a pen test, I'll do this and you know it just gives me more results better bang for the buck all right so now if i do an ls here we have that full scan and we can cat that full scan.txt and here we go so those are all the commands that i would say have in your arsenal for nmap so thank you so much for viewing and i will see you guys in the next one oh yeah again if i missed a nmap scan or nmap command that you use that's helpful for other people Put it in the comments below. I want to learn and I'm sure others do too. So thank you for so much for viewing and I'll see you guys in the next one.